Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can clear the cached memory associated with your Microsoft Teams desktop application. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. Clearing the Microsoft Teams desktop application cached memory is a good way to help you address any issues that you're having with the desktop application. In the past, I've experienced issues where I haven't been able to place video calls or perhaps I'm on a video call and my camera feed isn't actually displaying to the recipient. Uh, other issues I've had is I haven't been able to update my application or I've actually had my application roll back to an earlier version and have lost access to some functionality. Clearing the cache is a good way to try to resolve these types of issues, and you should definitely give it a try if you're experiencing some sort of bug or glitch with Microsoft Teams desktop application. All right, now to clear the Microsoft Teams desktop application cache, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna close out the application completely. And so you want to close it by clicking on the X in the top right corner, and you also want to come down to your app tray and you want to close it here by right clicking on the Teams icon and clicking quit. This is going to actually ensure that the application has been closed. Next, you want to open your file explorer and you want to click into the file path and you want to enter this file path. Now, don't worry about looking at my screen here. I've actually just pasted this in the description below so you can copy it from there and you wanna press enter. And in this folder, you want to look for the Teams folder and you want to right click on this and you want to delete it. Now, once this deletes, all you need to do is you need to go ahead and open the Microsoft Teams application again. It's going to prompt you to sign in. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And when you do sign in, it is good practice to just hit the check for updates button. And I will show you how to do that in a second. Now you can see here that when you open the app after clearing the cache, you might notice that it looks a little different. Okay, so you can see here that the app bar is purple, whereas in the most recent version of Microsoft Teams, this is actually translucent. Uh, and so it is good practice after you clear the cache to come up into these three dots here and to click on the check for updates button right here. And this is going to force your Microsoft Teams desktop application to grab the latest updates and actually push those updates into the app. Uh, and again, depending on the size of those updates, it might take a few minutes to actually load. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to clear the cache on your Microsoft Teams desktop application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Acabellas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.